Mercy feels like being understood. There's a lot of talk about mercy in religion, at least there should be. Mercy can be thought of as extreme kindness that makes you forgive someone. Such a lovely thought. But mercy is not a one-size-fits-all. Mercy will look different for every person. Why? Because we need mercy in different places, spaces, and ways. Think about it. There's nothing worse than doing something righteous and someone else calls it a sin and says, God will have, they say, oh, God will have mercy on you. We cannot assume that we know where God will need to be merciful for someone else. And if we learn nothing else from scripture, we have learned that what the authorities thought about people did not always agree with what God thought. It follows then that we are the same, prone to assuming we know better about people than the Almighty Father in Heaven knows. Let's focus on our own journeys as we should. Mercy feels like being understood. God looks at us and understands our circumstances and situations. When we are with God in deep prayer, we can discover where we need mercy ourselves. Why? How? Well, if we are being ourselves in prayer, allowing ourselves to be vulnerable, certain situations might come to our mind in prayer. So we look at ourselves objectively, not in a disassociative way, but in a less emotional way. In doing so, we can discover that we may not be as righteous as we would like to think. That's good. At the very least, we might conclude that we can do better. That's great. This can be toward ourselves, toward another, or within a certain situation that, that's part of our life. Hence, this understanding will include the need for God's kindness and forgiveness in areas where we need to do better because we have failed to do well, perhaps in the past, perhaps yesterday, last night, this morning. It's a no drama approach that God uses to help us see things in his light. If we do this calm work with God regularly, we have no need to be metaphorically bounced off our horses as St. Paul was when God's voice thundered from the heavens saying, Paul, why do you persecute me? We would probably all like to avoid the need for that particular experience, and we can do so by regular examination of our conscience. Now, someone called St. Faustina spoke about divine mercy. And that beautiful image that was painted that with light coming from the heart of Christ shows us something very sublime. There is an individual ray of light coming to every person who approaches God seeking connection. My mercy will not look like anyone else's. It will look like something I recognize, and I'll have an experience of it to say, at last, someone understands exactly my predicament and why I do what I do or did what I did. Be assured, I promise you, God loves us each uniquely and totally. His mercy is waiting for us each and every moment of our lives. Mm -hmm.